Greetings, everyone. Welcome to 2K Sports and another exciting edition of NBA Basketball. Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg with David Aldridge on our sideline. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Kyrie Irving. And looking at his offensive numbers from the past few years, it seems like teams around the league have kind of figured him out. Uh, he's having to work a lot harder for his points, and they haven't been coming nearly as easily as they used to. Now, we'll look at Dallas' starting lineup. The star backcourt of Doncic and Irving are out there. P.J. Washington is out there with Hardaway. And it's Gafford into the center. And for the Celtics, Warford and Porzingis are manning the post position. The talented wing pair of Brown and Tatum. And it's Holiday in at the point. Here we are, Clark, looking at this one. Both teams love to shoot, and you can expect both of these squads to pull the trigger from deep. Well, you see this a lot in today's game. I mean, both of these teams like to let it fly from beyond the arc. And I think it's going to come down simply to which team can knock down more shots from outside. It'll be the Celtics off the tip. Pass to Horford. And here's Tatum for three. A rebound by Washington. There's the pass to Irving. Back to Washington. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Washington's got the first basket of the game for Dallas. Boy, he's a stretch four now with a dangerous outside shot. Washington loves letting that one fly from there. Here's Horford, and he converts the layup. You know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. And so Doncic will bring it up for the Mavericks. Outside Irving. On the wing, Doncic. He's guarded by Holiday. Releases. Doncic, no good. On the wing, Brown. They look to him for part of their offensive attack. Right now, he averages nearly 12 points a game. That shot missing. And the Mavericks with possession. What a special opportunity Dallas has with a generational talent, Clark, like Doncic. Yeah, I agree with you there. I mean, he's special. And I think the Mavs need to do something with his presence in terms of building a competitive team around him because Doncic expects to be in the playoffs every season. Celtics have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Cross contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And Tatum is really good at bouncing off the defense. Again, playing through contact and knocking down shots despite getting bumped and thumped on his way to the hoop. The well, Celtics shooting their first free throw tonight. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. And they've made progress in that department from last season going into this one, guys. I mean, the numbers have improved. And so just over a minute and a half played. Outside Irving. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Kyrie Irving, what a touch from deep. For Boston, they've gone two for four from the field so far today. Out against Irving. In the corner, Tatum with it. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. Here's someone who's really been playing well, earning the player of the month in the East, Jason Tatum. And small forwards are asked to do so much in the modern NBA, and he just answers the call in every facet of the game. Tremendous numbers from him, and he is more than deserving of the award. Now here's Tatum in the game against Philadelphia. Very impressive. And, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that position. Irving with the ball. Doncic outside. No block shot. Off the left rim and out. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high impact defense they want to see out of him. Now here's Porzingis. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Tatum's shot is off. 
Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Irvin counting his second make in four attempts. Well, this is a staple, a pillar of Irving's attack. You gotta be up on him or he'll pull up on the dime. Doncic against Holiday. Pass to Brown from deep. Great tee that time from Irving. Well, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. And the Mavs consult Luka before any major move now. Rare for a player so young to have that much set. Yeah, you know, I don't know how much I agree with that, but given Luka's stardom and in the day and age we're in, he is Dallas going forward. And to some degree, I think perhaps he has earned the right to have a say in who he's going to team up with. Nice look from Porzingis. Good vision there. That's what he has to do with the ball in his hand. Scan the floor, see what's available, keep his teammates involved as much as possible. Now, here is Irving. Five points in the game. Doncic looking it over. Tries the spin move. Just five on the clock. And the call will be against Al Horford. That is his first foul of the game. And a whole new group out on the floor for the Celtics. White Powell's checked in for the Mavericks. To the wing right side. Washington passes to Hardaway. And there's the foul. It's on Peyton Pritchard. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. Yeah, and, and I, I like this call because you want the refs in that situation. If there's any doubt, err on the side of giving the benefit of the doubt to the offensive player. That should have been a block, and it was. Now here's Paul. Puts it up. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. Here's Pritchard. To the paint. Gets it to go. That one good from Tillman. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. So for Dallas, their last game, a win against the Raptors in Toronto. Well, you look at the points they produced in that game, great adjustments on the offensive end. Well, it's really hard to stop them when they're in the groove offensively, and they were in a comfort zone all game long in that one. Great assist that time by Kyrie Irving. Austin's gone, one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Here's the screen. Richard passes to Tillman. Boom! He shoots it straight down. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. It reminds me of that cameo song. Back and forth. Now, here's Doncic. He picked up 21 points in their last win against Toronto. And what opened things up for him was his passing. He was making so many plays that the D had to play off him. Oh, that's good. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. Yeah, and the lead has changed hands, and it just hasn't stayed in those hands very long when it's changed. Back and forth we go. Here's Pritchard. The Mavericks making the shot. Here's McKyler. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Yeah, good job to take it right at the team. Yeah, but really left them no choice there. He had to foul and keep him from converting the easy bucket. The Celtics shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. And the first one at the line is good. A different look for Dallas. Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for P.J. Washington. Green comes in for Tim Hardaway Jr. And it's Hardy in for Irving. He's perfect from the line this time. They play the clock right. They can go two for one. Just got to time it up right. Here's Powell. Right to the hoop. And the dunk by Powell. You got to love seeing Powell attack. I mean, an agile big guy who gets it to the cup in a hurry. 29 seconds left here in the first quarter. Here's Pritchard. Guarded by Powell. Here's Cornett. And he banks in the lane. It has been nip and tuck through the first half. Exactly, guys. The way it seesawed back and forth, unbelievable. Conchich outside. With one on the clock. And the last 
shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for it. At the end of one, both teams putting up some points. Austin on top, leading by just one. And we'll be back with you for the start of the second quarter when we return. This has been a fairly close game through the first quarter, and we'll see what happens here in the second. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Celtics. So far, they've moved the ball well, leading to open, high-percentage looks. Lots of assists in this one. In addition to that, they've thrown their weight around inside tonight, too, thumping and bumping in the paint. A lot of their points have come from inside. On the court for Dallas here in the second, they've got Irving. Maxi Kleba is out there with Dwight Powell. Then there's Harden, and it's Green in at the three, the small forward. And Boston has possession, following the three-pointer by Kyrie Irving. Here's Pritchard, who's covered by Irving. A nice shot by Tatum. And a big concern for players and coaches is the consistency of officiating. Greg, do you like that argument? It's tough when one night something is a foul and the next night it is. Uh, there's some gray area, obviously. And it'd be good for the league to try and clarify how they want things called. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Horford with the screen on green. Tatum kicks to Horford. No one near him. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. The defense there got away with a major lapse. Irving passes to Hardy. It's Powell on the wing. Right side, Irving. Porzingis with the block. When a guy has a 7-6 wingspan like Porzingis does, it's just tough to get away from him or get by him. That allows him to block a lot of shots. Outside Tatum. Tatum using his size inside. And he just big boyed it right there. The height advantage he's got down low, really difficult for them to defend. The Mavericks have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Time out, time out. And it'll be the Mavericks with their first time out here of the game. take this chance to go to the 2K leaderboard and display the best free throw shooters of the second half of the season. Jason Tatum on top. And one look at his numbers since the break and you can see how comfortable he's been at the foul line. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. Green finds Kleba. Green bounce pass. Now here's Hardy. Nothing on the board. Kleba with the bucket. And the Mavericks lead by two. So it's Boston now. Tatum on the wing. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Tatum clearly putting on the show in this one. Doing it all. Holiday against Irving. Kleba with the screen on Holiday. Here's Irving. Down through the hoop it goes. That's his fifth make on nine shots from the floor. And here's Holiday who will bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Trailing by two. They're coming off that win against Philadelphia. 
and, and that was not an easy game for them. I mean, they barely hung on at the end of regulation before they were able to pull it out in overtime. And it could turn out to be one of their biggest wins of the season. I mean, just because of the way they came through when it mattered most, that's that's clutch play that could serve them well going forward. Now Powell following Al Horford's three-point attempt. And it's Irving missing. Feeds it to Tatum. Tatum cleared for takeoff. And win. This is why guys love playing with Holiday. I mean, because of how unselfish he is. Dallas has gone one or two on three quarters here in the second quarter so far. And when we talk about the league's elite defenders, Drew Holiday is certainly up there. Yeah, that's for sure, Greg. I mean, I think it's a lot to do with how much pride he takes in playing defense. I mean, he's locked in with shutting down whoever he's defending. He looks at it as a challenge, and I really appreciate and respect his hard-nosed approach. Now, here's Brown. Still yet to score. And the dunk by Porzingis. The playmaking of Brown continuing to evolve. Nice dime there. And here are the Mavericks now. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Irving looking over the floor. There's the three. Porzingis with the rebound. The Celtics have gone five of seven from the field here in the second. Brown inside the line. The kick out to Tatum. On the wing, Holiday. He's covered by Irving. Here's Tatum. Oh, Tatum won't be denied. Just from no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Those looks they're allowing are almost automatic. And the Mavericks call time here. Gafford's checked in for Powell. Washington comes in for Maxi Kleba. Hardaway's checked in for Josh Green. And Luka Doncic subbed in for Hardy. It's Irving, top of the key. He kicks it to Doncic. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Irving's got three assists in the game. Well, it's fun watching Irving share the ball. I mean, when he concentrates on running the offense, this team is really dangerous. I'm now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldrich. David. Well, Kevin, Jason Tatum said his quiet demeanor may belie his hunger to win for some people. He said, I feel like sometimes I come off so laid back that I don't know if people understand how much I invest into this game, how much I care, how hard I work. If I'm not the loudest, I may show everything. Kevin? You know, his passion, D.A., for the game is right there. We appreciate your story. And so it's Dallas with following the three-pointer by Boston. So good at seeing the floor. Doncic able to set up his open teammates. Celtics leading by three. There's 38 seconds left in the first half of the game. Hardaway with the steal. Washington passes to Gaffin. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. Boy, an excellent passer for a big man. P.J. Washington's floor awareness, impressive. Here's McKayla, covered by Irving. And the foul called on P.J. Washington. That's his first foul. First personal foul. First team foul. Sixteen seconds left here in the second. Here's Pritchard. Still scoreless. Shot clock at five. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's on Luka Doncic. And he's got his first free throw of the game. At the line for the Celtics. Peyton Pritchard. Line for two shots. The first free throw is good. <laughs> Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line.
performance for Jason Tatum. He has been the story so far for the Boston Celtics. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, guys. Here with Jason Tatum. You have been rolling early. How did you get in that rhythm? Uh, just staying aggressive. Uh, just continue to get in the gym and uh, see some go in. It feels good to see them go in early. So good to have us have a good start. Uh, hopefully we keep it up. Yeah, it was flowing great in that first half, Jay. Thanks very much. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. Big Diesel, Kenny the Jet, Ernie Johnson here. But before we dive into the scintillating analysis of the first half, let's check out the power rankings. And a bit of a gear switch here. Shaq, you are currently trending online right now. Fans are demanding you try your hand in a hot dog eating contest. Oh, Ernie, I actually would like to see this happen as well. I bet some of these guys would humble you, Shaq. Come on now, stop it. It wouldn't be fair. I'd be putting up Wilt Chamberlain numbers as a rookie contestant. Well, the key is being able to stretch your stomach, I've heard. Yours is already stretched from the post-Laker days, though. Nope. And switching gears now to Jason Tatum. Fellas, he's had a terrific first half. Oh, he's going hard in the paint taking it right at the defense. I love his commitment to getting high percentage looks, Shaq. Look, I don't do this often, but I'm bestowing upon him the Shaquille O'Neal Badge of Honor. Got to. Thanks for joining us. Now let's toss it to Kevin Harlan for the start of the second half. After a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. You know, guys, Jason Tatum has really been making it happen. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. The talented wing pair of Brown and Tatum. Horford and Porzingis are manning the post position. And it's Holiday in at the point guard. And that's the group for Joe Missoula as we begin the second half. Tatum drives. Oh, Jason Tatum finishes with authority. An athletic forward who dunks it with style. He's showing off his dunking ability right there. Awesome rewind courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. Here's Doncic. Washington with a screen on Holiday. The three for Doncic. Bangs on the trifecta. Doncic has got eight. And not even three quarters out of the way. So many lead changes. The fans, guys, are getting their money's worth. Heck, I should have paid to watch this one. It's been a nail bite. Now here's Tatum. 18 points for him. And it's good for two. Jason Tatum scores, but also creates for his teammates. A sign of his continuing growth as a player. Dallas calls timeout. One of the stories here, Jason Tatum getting it done today. And he's getting to the rack all game, and if they can't do a better job of keeping him out of the paint, they're in for a long night. In the action now, let's take a look at the East and how the teams are stacking up. Taking a look at Boston, they've done well enough to be in fifth place in the conference so far. And you know, for the Celtics, lately they've been off their game just a little bit. It's led to them losing that top spot here in the stand. And Greg, peaks and valleys are part of the season for the most talented of teams. I mean, they've still got plenty of time to get things right before the playoffs. A little over a minute gone. The second half is underway. 
Washington finds Doncic. Dallas moving the ball around. Offered his screen on Perzingis. Irving for three. Another three for Dallas. Three for three, and that's always a good way to start the second half. And Clark, here we are watching Kyrie Irving when he's on. It is amazing to watch. Right. Remarkably smooth as an athlete, Kevin, and otherworldly when you look at his skills as a basketball player, particularly ball handling and shot making. Talking pure basketball, he's one of the most entertaining players of the last 30 years for sure. The Mavericks leading. Down low. Here's Gaffin. And Gaffin throws it down. Hey, there's no denying it. Kyrie is a score first guard, but he's a better passer than he gets credit for. Horford with a screen on Doncic. Outside, Horford. Round the pass to Persingas. And there's the whistle. Three second violation. Let's look at the stats for Tatum. He's been on a tear since the All Star break, going really to another level. Averaging 25 points per four rebounds and two assists. The, the real story, though, is how big of an impact he makes on the defensive end. Absolutely. I mean, he's a lockdown guy for him, both on the ball and when helping out. And, you know, that's their first miss after knocking down four in a row to start the half. Here's Holiday. The kick out to Tatum. Let's it go with a three. Drills it from outside. Tatum's got five points now in the quarter. Out. Tatum's going to stretch the defense all over the place if he's knocking down threes from the corner. Irving dishes to Doncic. Rebound by the Celtics. This shot's just, it's not there right now with his team leading perhaps. You know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. Three-pointer, Horford. Rebounded by Gafford. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. Inside, here's Washington. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. The defense did a really good job of choking off the middle there once he got inside. Horford with a screen on Washington. Round kicks to Porzingis. Porzingis is double. Outside, Horford. This is it to Holiday. Shot clock at six. Side, Horford for the three. Nailed from three-point land. Horford's got five. Horford grabs the ball and immediately gets into a shot. You gotta prepare with your feet and then be ready with your hand. Irving can't get it to go. And so it's Brzingis. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. A two-point game. Brown, no good. Mavericks have gone an even 50% from the floor here in the third quarter. Four of eight. Offensive rebound. Gafford shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's on for Zingas. This is his first free throw of the game. Shooting for Dallas. Daniel Gafford. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. A different look for Dallas. Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for Washington. And it's Hardy in for Kyrie Irving. And so he hits both. Here's Brown, still without a basket. 158 left to play in the third. There's the screen. Pulls up on the wing, and he drops that one in. You know, when Brown has that jump shot working, guys, he's very hard to slow down. Nice looking release on his shot. Doncic outside. Pass to Gaffer. It's blocked. And that'll be Dallas as it goes out of bounds. Mavericks retain possession. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. Austin making a switch here. Tillman's checked in. And Dallas also making a switch. Powell, he's checked in for Daniel Gafford. Yeah. 
135 left to play here in the third. Just five to shoot. Now here's Hardy. He's covered by Brown. Drills the three-pointer. A great competitive game so far. And from the look of it, this one could go right down to the wire. 112 left in the third quarter of the game. Going inside. Just awesome speed for Brown. Blasting off towards the bucket and slamming it down. Here's Harden. And looking at his production, he averages a little more than seven points a game. And there's the pass to Pop. This is Dodoncic. Shoots the three. Another three for Dallas. That gives him his second three of the half with three total for the game. The Celtics have gone six of ten from the field in the third quarter. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Doncic. Cornette passes to Pritchard. Mavericks with the rebound. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. The battle to a standstill on the boards has really been something to watch. And the game's not over yet. We'll see if one of these teams maintains more energy than the other going down the street. To the inside. And the dunk by Powell. Got to give it up for Powell now. I mean, he excels at rising off the ground to punch home these alley-oops. And here's Brown outside. The shot comes out. It's been an exciting game. Plenty of offense as we head to the fourth quarter. Mavericks the lead by four. And time to step aside quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. Today's State Farm assist of the game. And he's always been uh, the favorite to back this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. Well, you can't run away from the DNA. When he's running the show, he makes sweet highlight reel plays night in and night out. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. On the floor for Dallas, we've got Green. He is out there with Irving. Then there's P.J. Washington. And it's Powell in at the five spot. Tatum down low. And by Green. Tatum's shot is off. Mavericks leading by four. Green kicks to Irving. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. Irving's got 20. He's putting on a commanding performance here. He's hit two three-pointers in each half now. Holiday, the pass to Tatum. Porzingis with a screen on Green. Tatum dishes to Holiday. In the corner, Horford with it all along. Right through the shoulder that time, all net. Seven points for Al Horford. Cutting into that deficit now, well within striking distance. Boy, time to tighten it up on defense. A stop here would be huge. Hardy passes to Irving. Pass to Washington. Here's the three. Another three for Dallas. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. Here's Brzingis following the three-point basket by Dallas. Tatum against Green. Tatum no good. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. Especially when you're scoring the ball at a decent clip the way they have. I mean, they've done exactly what's necessary to take the lead. Mavericks making a switch here. Hardaway's checked in. Now, here is Irving. 
Jason Tatum missing his last shot. Takes it from 10. And another basket for Dallas. We're flashing those crazy handles. I mean, major rush hour handles. So fun watching Irvin handle the ball the way he does. Time call here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Thanks, guys. Listen in to what Joe Mazzulla told his team. He loves what they're doing in the paint. He said, if they're not stopping us, keep doing it. Keep going after it down low. Or keep pounding it inside, guys. Thanks so much, David. A three from Tatum. Tries again. That's it, and the Dallas lead is cut down now to just eight points with the basket from Chris Stapps, Porzingis. Porzingis able to use that 7-6 wingspan to full effect, beating everybody to the board, and then quickly cashing in. And there's the foul. It's on Peyton Pritchard. That's foul number two for him. And it really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Yeah, but in this case, I think he got it right. The was still moving there. He never really had good legal guarding position. He wasn't set. Daniel Gafford's checked in for the Mavericks. Now here is Hardaway. From past the arc. And Boston with the rebound. Holiday's got his fourth rebound in this one. Outside, Porzingis. Outside, Tatum. Porzingis sets the pick for Tatum. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. The physicality of Jason Tatum. An understated and overlooked part of his game. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Mavericks. Well, you know, they've been tremendous, I think, when it comes to sharing the basketball. You know, getting guys involved on the plays and creating offensive opportunities for everybody. Equal opportunity offense is fun to watch. And another thing they've been doing all game long is knocking down the three. Shooting has been a big part of their game plan tonight. The three for Dungeon. Yeah, it's no good that time either. So it's trail by five. Here's Holiday. Some solid defense there from Irving. The Mavericks have gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the court. Dallas, no good that time either. Well, the Celtics shoot about 43% here in the fourth quarter. In the corner, Horford with it. Jacks up a three. Rebounded by Gafford. Gafford's got five rebounds tonight. the wing, Irving, guarded by Holiday. Irving kicks to Doncic. Irving double team. Six to shoot. Let's it go from the wing. And it's Doncic missing. Both rough shooting night tonight, but you can't fault him for the effort. Passes to Tatum. That one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And Tatum does a little bit of everything, and he's especially skilled down low. Fantastic at drawing the defense into him and playing off the contact while he's going up for a shot. Jalen Brown checked in for Pritchard. So Tatum nails them both. And he doesn't let the pressure get to him. Cool and confident from the line. Round against Irving. Plays it up and banks it in. Irving's got 12 points here in the second half. Boy, you need a confident player to get you a big bucket. And that's exactly who Irving is and what he does. Now a timeout called by Boston. Do someone once again for something entertainment. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Tim Hardaway picks one up. Coming at you with so many ways to get his points. Tatum draws a lot of contact throughout the game. He gets himself to the line. So Tatum nails them both. 
And now you're in a great position thanks to those clutch free throws. One possession game now. And stolen by Horford. Brown lights up. The shot's good on the assist by Horford. And that's now six points for Jalen Brown. Dallas has gone two or five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. Here's Doncic. Gafford passes to Kleba. Doncic against Holiday. Five to shoot. Fast to Gafford. Dallas needs to get off a shot. Offensive rebound. And again, Dallas turns it over. That could be costly. When the game is made and balanced, the last thing you can afford is to turn it over. Pritchard, he's checked in for Boston. Outside Tatum. Brown outside. Back to Tatum. to take the lead. Rebounded by Gafford. The Mavericks are gone. 4-10 here in the final period. Not the time to go cold. Doncic kicks to Gafford. Doncic left side. Good! And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. Well, that was one too. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. Tatum. The kick out to Brown to tie it up. Oh, a tremendous three to tie it up. He's such a clutch shooter. He just lives for the big shot. And so now a timeout called by Jason Kidd. Seconds left in the fourth quarter. Horford against Cleveland. Up top, Doncic. In the corner, it's Gafford. Moving against Tatum. Four on the clock. Good! Oh, do not expect anything less from Irving. A clutch performer. He loves knocking down the big shots. Time call here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. They trail by two. Seven seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Seven seconds left in the fourth. Now the pass to Horford. No good from three-point territory. So a close game sees Dallas taking this one. They break the hearts of every fan in the building with a dramatic late victory. And hey, Kevin, and this is the kind of win you have to take a ton of pride in. And they battled with everything they had and came through when the pressure was at its highest. We've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Thanks very much, Kyrie. It looked like you were in an extra crispy special kind of zone tonight. How did you do it? Ah, uh, man, well, the, the beauty is in the process. It's in the preparation. You know, I, before I get here, I'm trying to get locked in mentally. Um, just trying to come out here and put on a good performance, lead my team, do the best job I can. That's all I'm trying to do. It was all on display tonight, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. And that about wraps it up. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. Now, let's check out our New Balance player of the game, Kyrie Irving. <laughs>